This is a short fin eel and a common resident to the city of Manningham's waterways, wetlands and the Yarra River. The things I do for Manningham biodiversity workshops. But this is cool. Have you ever heard of the expression, slippery as an eel? Well, they're not wrong. This is one slippery little sucker. And this is the fish, not a snake. When you're protecting biodiversity, you can't just save the fluffy, the cute, and the endearing. You also have to save the short, thin eels. These are an important, integral animal in the city of Manningham and in the Yarra River. When I was a kid, these animals were feared and much maligned. We thought they were dangerous, but they're harmless to people. These are voracious predators, nocturnal in nature, hunting yabbies, insects, worms, and fish. And you can see their nodules on the front of their head for feeling around, sensing for prey. But of course, as they're growing up, they're an important food source for other predators. Look at their paddle-like tail. For propelling themselves through the water, it's like one enormous flipper. These are highly prized eating fish. Baby short-finned eels are called elvers. They can absorb 50% of their oxygen requirements through their permeable skin. That's amazing. And they have the ability to climb out of the water and slither along the wet surface of the land, finding new environments. It's only found in waterways east of the Great Dividing Range in Victoria. The Great Dividing Range is an obstacle for the short-finned eel. These animals have a most incredible life cycle. Short-finned eels live in the Yarra River until they're mature enough to breed. They swim down the environmental flows of the Yarra River into Port Phillip Bay, out through the heads, and up to the Coral Sea, 5,000 kilometres away, just north of New Caledonia. That is incredible. When they breed, they die. Now the babies, the larvae, swim down the currents down the east coast of Australia and make their way from Port Phillip Bay up the Yarra River and find a new environment to mature in. The Yarra River is a very important part of the short-finned eel's life cycle. So it's up to all of us to keep the Yarra River and our wetlands in the city of Manningham clean of pollution and waste. So clean up our waste, don't litter, don't put anything down our storm water. Remember to wash your car on the lawn and don't put paint or chemicals down the drain. Love where you live in the city of Manningham and protect all biodiversity because every animal has a job to do. I love you short-finned eels.